Hello everyone, it's Cody here, the DC intern here at St. John Lutheran Church in Woodbury. I'm so glad to have you for this fireside chat today. Um, and today I'm going to tell you another story, uh, but this one not of the Wild West, but one of my childhood. Um, one of my favorite types of seasons in Nebraska is construction seasons, which I'm joking, it's not construction season, but it's the other thing that happens during construction season. It's tornado season. So down in Nebraska, we get quite a few tor tornadoes down there. As we are in Tornado Alley, if you don't know what that is, it spans from Texas to roughly southern Nebraska, a little over to Iowa, where you see a whole bunch of tornadoes that happen. And so it's really cool going to go tornado watching, but it's also sometimes really, really scary. Um, and so a time that happened when I was younger, so in my teens, there was a tornado that hit the town right next to us. Now, tornadoes weren't uncommon as we lived in tornado alleys, right? Like, tornado alley, tornadoes happening. You hear about tornadoes all the time. Usually, it's in the middle of Nebraska, so it's all farmland out there. Really, the only thing that gets destroyed is maybe some trees, maybe some crops, which isn't good for the farmers, but, you know, very minimal destruction that happens with these tornadoes. But there was a town about 10 miles away from where I grew up that got completely destroyed by a tornado. Town was devastated. Nothing uh, came out of it. National Guard had to show up just to help people that were local. We were able to go see the town uh, very close after that, and the aftermath was insane. Stuff that you see in pictures after hurricanes, after tornadoes of just houses destroyed, roofs taken off, leveled housing. It was, it was crazy. Cars in random places that they shouldn't be or maybe a trampoline that's in a tree. Such weird things that happen. Now, this is my favorite season, not because of the destruction, not because of anything. It's because of what kind of God promises us in this idea of natural disasters in this time of um, random destruction that happens with fears that we could have. Right. So I never had a fear of tornadoes, but a lot of people in Nebraska did. Right. We all had storm shelters we would have to go to. We practice every single day, every single year, um, tornado drills going under, covering our heads. So this became a fears for a lot of kids. Um, and it's a natural disaster fear. This isn't a fear of getting in a car accident or something else, but it's, it's a fear of what's unknown, especially weather. It could happen in five minutes. So I want to talk to you about fear. And fear is something that we all struggle with, whether it be tornadoes or whether it be snakes or spiders. Ooh. But, right, a lot of people have these fears. And fears of unknown, fears of tornadoes, spiders, snakes. And the list can go on and on and on and on. I can keep rambling on a list. But these fears that we have are uh, not as big as the man upstairs. It's God himself, right? God says that he will protect you, he will show you the way. And so a verse that brings me comfort when thinking about fears, especially in fears of change, times of change, weather of change, and all these different things, is Psalm 46. I'll read that for you really quick. God is our refuge in strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters war, roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. And the reason I brought up tornadoes is because of kind of the idea of the earth being moved and all this stuff and the fear that it can cause, but understanding that all these fears that we have, we have a refuge, we have a fortress in God, that he will take care of us when, when stuff does happen, because it always will happen, something happens in life that's not good. He'll take care of us, whether we know it or not, he loves you. He loves every single one of you. Sin is in this world and it's an awful thing. But yet, Jesus Christ has overcome sin, death, and the devil for you. For each and every single one of you. And that's a beautiful gift to share with others as you go forth. Whether they're afraid or you're afraid, just remember that God is your refuge and strength. A very present help in a time of trouble. If you could fold your hands, bow your head, and let's give our thoughts and prayers to God. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being our fortress. Though earth 
gives way, though the mountains be moved, we have you. If tornadoes come around and are scary, or if spiders come around and are scary, or snakes, or this fear that we have of, of things that we don't need to, just help us remember that our hope and our foundation is in you. And help us have that as a reminder and share that with others, that beautiful news that we can have that foundation because of what Christ has done for us. In your name we pray and all God's people said, amen. Thank you.